All right, period. Like, 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 give me, give me a scenario. Like, like, man, I'm tired of this, all this schoolwork, bro. This man, teacher blowing my shit. Period, bro. <laughs> 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 all right, that shit was kind of cool. Was hard. I ain't gonna front. That shit like a. That's a cool like five. Nah, that's like a seven. That's a seven. Yeah. Like, period. Jay, wait, what, Jay? That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> like period, bro. Like I, I know what you mean. Period, bro. Uh, <laughs> no, like, yo, these niggas ain't gonna play with me no more. Period. Ah, there you go. That shit decent. That's tough. That's tough. That's like seven, eight. That's seven, eight. That's cool. So I think we could use period. Yeah, we could. We could. I think that's calm, bro. That's I cool. think I think a nigga could slip a period in there, and I'm not trip. That sounds crazy. I'm not <laughs> tripping. <laughs> yeah. Our generation, man, we just too everything uh, pause and no Diddy. I think no Diddy is the most cringe thing in the world. I think so too. I don't like saying. I, I don't. I don't use it, bro. I don't, like, <laughs> like niggas say, anyone who aggressively uses no Diddy too, I think it's weirdos. You know, I see use it a lot. A lot of like the older guys, like guys that's older than yeah. us on TikTok. Ha, no Diddy, no Diddy, <laughs> no Diddy. <laughs> that shit is so corny. Nah, bro. like I know the type of nigga you are if you like forcibly say no Diddy. Cause that's like somebody who forcibly say uh, no homo. Yeah. That's corny too. Like, like if you no homo, no homo, bro, no homo. That's yeah. so corny. Like they, they'll say it after they they think they say something moot, but nobody yeah. like peep, and then they say it. And it's like, bro, we wasn't going to press you anyway. That. Like that's, that's see that's why I like pause. Right? Yeah. Anybody could use pause. Pause smooth. Pause like. Yeah, because pause can mean anything. Pause can mean anything. Like pause is not necessarily like a, a phobia statement. Yeah, pause could be like yo, like. Pause, like like, pause, hold on, I'm going to be right back or something like, like that. Not even that. Like, pause could be like something could be taken out of context. So you use pause. Oh, yeah, like yeah, Like a yeah. girl could use pause because like, uh, pause. Yeah, yeah. Like, cause it, just because something can be taken out of context and you want to reel it back in. Yeah. No ditty, you clearly know what it's being used yeah. for. It's not even, it could be taken out of context. Who started that? It had to have been the Atlanta uh, guy. It was a foot, no, it was a Philly dude. Oh, it was? Yeah. What was, you know what his name is? Um, Quilly. Dang, you got good memory. I don't freak you remember that. <laughs> Probably because I, I be seeing. I like his memes. <laughs> hey, I yo. like his memes. He be, he actually uh, the way he say the word Muslim. Muslim. Yeah, I like how I like how he say it. So I, I isn't I that the, the proper term of how you yeah. say it? Like it's not Muslim, the, it's yeah, Muslim. He's the but he that's what I'm saying. He showed me how to say it right. Ah, uh, so that's what always made me remember him. Dang. Okay. What do you think is the most like influential like city right now? The most so it, it gotta go based off of TikTok. So I would yeah. say it's between New York, mm. Philly, Atlanta, and Atlanta. I don't think Cali. I feel like Cali. It's not Cali. Cali is influential to Cali. Yeah, I feel like that. Like stuff that they do don't really translate across the country. Like you could look at a guy and be like, yeah, he's from Atlanta. He's from yeah, you could just you, tell. But but I don't think I can look at a guy and say he's from Philly. You can though. Really? You can tell by they they wearing tight uh tight tight sports wear. Oh yeah, like the little like yeah, the, the they, they wear, Yeah, they wear a ski mask in the summer. Oh, uh, but like that's New York. Oh no, New York no, wears New York don't wear ski masks in the summer. Philly what still in, do that. What do New Yorkers wear now? Um, because the vibe is changing. I know it's changing a lot. That's so what I'm trying to say. See. Is it what Nike? Is it's not Nike Text no more. It's not Nike Text no more. I don't know what it is right now. I don't know what the trend is right now, to be honest. Like, I feel like, like, I remember, like, I was, I remember I was watching a TikTok today, and it was a New Yorker, and he was reacting to, like, certain hats you can't wear in Cali, mm. like, baseball caps. Bro, you can't wear so many, you can't wear no baseball hat in California, California. bro. That's so ass. But, like, literally every team is affiliated with a game. Dang, yeah, that's I'm ass. like. Because out here, it's affiliated with the swag. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Do you know what's crazy? I had a no. You know what's good? I like I had like a bunch of caps when we was in Cali, but it wasn't the colors. It was like you know, like you remember that like when we went to Cali, it was like what two thousand twenty one. That was the time when like um, fitteds was a thing. So it's like still a thing. It's, still it's not as much as not it used much, to be. Yeah. Like back then, if you had you a fit, crazy, I got made fun of for wearing fitteds. I got made fun of for wearing Crocs. No, you made fun of me for wearing. No, Crocs. no, 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 no. Cause you had some dirty looking Crocs. No, I didn't. Yes, they you were just did. Brown. My, <laughs> like they were just. You brown. had the Crocs that they wear at like. The nigga said. The nigga Darius said to me, 
Yo, this nigga wearing Crocs. <laughs> he didn't have the Crocs that y'all think about. His Crocs look like you know how Crocs is circles. His Crocs look like like waffles, like squares. They was Crocs. That's bro. not Crocs. Those they are the, were regular Crocs, bro. No, they weren't regular Crocs. I remember they were wearing the Croc brand, but they was like off brand Crocs. See, that's what I'm saying. That's not the. One. That's not the Croc. like Crocs. Is Crocs? Like, no, that's not. That's like, not. I was Crocs. wearing them just to school. I was wearing them every day. Those are Crocs. called. What are those called? Those. Are, that's not scrubs. I forgot what they. I forgot what they called. Those are basically like slippers, bro. You just had slippers on. I wa- I remember I bought some Crocs. It was light blue, cro- light blue Crocs. We went to Beer Temple, and freaking Elijah one looked at me. He's like, "Ew, you wearing Crocs?" But this is what I'm saying, though. Good thing you got that treatment because you did it to me. I didn't do it. Though. I but your Crocs like look nasty. Now it look nasty, y'all. Now <laughs> Crocs look nasty. Y'all see? It was cool when he put it on, but it's not cool when I put it on. But yeah, I said the same thing to me with fitteds. What they say? I was wearing fitteds 2016, 2017. And what they say? I would never forget. The nigga Chi Chi said, Oh, look at this guy. Tom and Chi Chi. Look at this guy. Oh, you, he's 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 50. <laughs> nigga Chris like started recording me. Yo, 50 Cent. <laughs> look at this nigga 50. <laughs> Boom. Two years later, 2020, 2021, everybody got a fitted on. These niggas customized and they fitted. I ain't say a word. I'm just looking at niggas customized they fitted after making fun of me for wearing fitted. Hey man, we start trends, bro. Who is we? I'm here. Nah, bro. I had you the made, Crocs. You made fun of me for it, bro. I, I was here. buying Crocs when they was twenty five dollars. Now they fifty dollars. Nah, it's yeah. crazy, that's, that but that's what I'm saying. I've been on a wave, so it's like. But yours weren't Crocs though. That's what I'm talking. That's like me saying, like, like I had Yeezys first, but I got the my Yeezys from like the kiosks in the mall. So like, if I had Yeezy boots, like you know the you know. <laughs> You know, if you go down, like you know, when you go to the mall, like they have that that little kiosk where they sell Ooh. the shoes. That's not really real shoes. And I bought a pair of Yeezys from there. And people making fun of me for those Yeezys. I'm not that. No, no, no. That's it's, the same thing. Like, it's like this, right? <laughs> I'm wearing boots, right? I'm like nobody wear boots. Everybody wear sneakers. I'm wearing boots, but the brand that I'm wearing is Mountain Gear. Yeah. But I'm wearing boots every day. But then. Timberland becomes popular now. So everyone starts wearing boots. But they're not wearing Mountain Gear boots. But they're wearing boots now. No, I'm the first not, nigga no, to wear the boots. That's what I want credit for. Just wearing, but like that's not specific enough. You know what I'm saying? So Crocs is the name of the brand and not the style. Whatever this this joint called, whatever this style is called, that is I've Cro- been doing it. The brand is Crocs. This is not Do you even Crocs. have those other ones that you have? I know you don't have those no more. The brown ones? Yeah. Nah, I don't sit down up now. I used to start hooping in them though. Bro, it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, do, those are Crocs. What you had wasn't Crocs. The brand is called Crocs. That's why you calling them Crocs. But these are actually called something else. I don't know. <laughs> Jaylene, what the name is, bro? You a girl, bro. It's either, it's either Crocs or Slippers. That's what it is. It's either Crocs they or Slippers. They weren't Slippers. It was Crocs. They got or like the, water shoes. shit had the same pullback. Okay. Well, got, it, okay. Got the, it had the same three holes on the side and the holes Okay, on the water shoes. Is so it, these are water shoes too, bro. No, but like, nah. Nigga just I'm don't want to give to me because bro. I like I I gave you the analogy. If you go to the kiosk in the mall uh-huh. and you buy those Yeezy boots that aren't Yeezy boots, and you walk around and people are like, oh, you got them nasty Yeezy boots. But then if somebody's wearing the nicer new real no, reason Yeezy boots, uh-huh. they're gonna be like, damn, them things stuff. You can't be like, nah. I had them first. You had the booty looking but ones. I just my analogy is what actually Guan. Like I was wearing boots with nobody wearing boots. But because it's not the brand that everybody like, no one want to fuck with me. Because they, they don't look good. That's what I'm trying it's to the say. same thing. It's no, just it's not, not the same brand. Bro, if, if you... It if was, you the only difference was the color. The texture was exactly the same. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean the texture? Like the way it feels? Yes. Okay. It was like- just brown. Because it was brown, they was like... You like, yo, you wearing Crocs? Bro, yours looked like, it wasn't circles, there were squares on it. There was not, this nigga is literally lying. Just literally <laughs> lying, there was no squares on it. Yo, it was brown, but it just, it didn't look right. Like, you you know when you, like, it looked and like. The nigga Bash got a video of them shits. He got a video because I was wearing them in school. Oh, you wore some, I asked Bash when I he wore, I wore them shits with, uh, he still, I'm pretty sure he still got it too. He be keeping shit. With my, uh. Union Panthers shorts. Shout out to Union Panthers. And my Union Panthers shorts Dang. and Elite socks. They fell off, bro. Damn, man. I was on our last team. Oh, you were? Yep. 
Dang, bro. I remember those days. I hated that. I had a good time. I didn't. They used to yell at me. I remember we used to. I remember we we had a talk before practice. It was like a two hour talk. Of I'm like, <laughs> what the hell? Like, what am I doing here? We had a two hour talk and then we ran for forty five minutes. I'm like, bro, what am I like? Why am I paying you to do this? That bro, literally, man. He they just wanted to have a good time, bro. When I was there, they just wanted to coach, show us how to play basketball. Nah, when I was there, they wanted to be the best of the best. They was trying to get a sponsorship, and that wasn't happening with the with what we had, bro. We was all the same height, bro. <laughs> we was all the same height, cause it was bad, bro. Bro, we didn't even introduce the pod. We just went like twenty five minutes. Hey, but that's how you get them. That's how you. That's how you hook the audience. Hook the audience, type shit. You want to do the introduction, bro? Yeah, bro. It's been. A, it's been. A, uh, it's not even been a long time. Actually. Nah, you've been I'm on like, the pod for a minute. A minute yeah, ago, bro, I was on the pod like last week. Bro. But if you wanna, if you wanna introduce it, you gotta talk about. You gotta talk about. Cause you're wearing Cernucci, you gotta talk about Cernucci, and then SeatGeek. So you gotta put that into your intro. Let's see, let's see if I can do it. Alright, let's see, let's see. SeatGeek uh, is uh. SeatGeek. Say that, say that. SeatGeek. I already know. Alright. So I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I right, look though. <clears throat> For me, Clark Kent has to take off his glasses to turn into Superman. Yeah, hear me out. Use Batman. What's going on? I'm using yo, bro. What's up? What's up? What's going on, everybody? It's the one and only, the chosen one, the only one. Also known as Player One. Also known as Can Never Be Done. Also known as Mister Keep a Gun. You know what I'm saying? But not that one. The one that you use for fun, the water gun. I do be <laughs> shooting. You know what I'm saying? I'm here another episode, you know, Mister YD. Also known as YD Three. And on my left, you know, I gotta introduce my brother. You know what I'm saying? The one who gets it started, the one who gets it done, the one that's the Uda. I keep the, he don't keep the, he keep the, the one that's the Uda without the gun, Mr. Ifatunde, also known as the nigga with the cups. <laughs> yo, we also known as the brother with the cups, you know what I'm saying? We triple cup. No double, bro. I got a triple on me, man. You know what I'm saying? Mr. DW, also known as Darius Watkins, also known as Mr. No Regulars. Yes, sir. And I want to give a major shout out. To the guys, shout out to our partners out there at Sanucci, putting on for the guys. Shout out to them for giving me this fun, 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 fun gear, you know what I'm saying? Got me real right and fitted, you know what I'm saying? Make a, make a brother look, hmm, you know what I'm saying? Sanucci gets you looking like, hmm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wouldn't even, hmm, till I put this shirt on. Probably put a look, hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the guys out there, man. Shout out to the guys and girls who sent this out to us. You know what I'm saying? I want to give a major shout out to Seat Geek. You know what I'm saying? Putting on. We go to a show. We go to an event. We go to a game. We got us some seats. A seat for the geeks. A seat for the nerds. A seat for the jocks. Everybody get a seat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just here to have a good time, man. Welcome to another episode of No Regulars Podcast. We're going to do it big. We're going to do it large. And we're going to have a great time. You'll be a good talk show host. Thank you. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Maybe one day we'll get... Yo, what? that'd be tough. Imagine Stephen A. calls us up on the first take. That'd be so oh, fun. send me. Huh? Just send me. <laughs> Just you, you'll be Just represented? Send me, bro. <laughs> I'm going to send everybody out, bro. We're gonna, somebody going to be on... I'm going to be on Joe Rogan podcast. Usually going to be on first take. <laughs> like, this is going to be spread like the freaking Infinity, Infinity yeah, Stones, that's, bro. But that's, that's the goal, though, is to... Everybody gets set up to be able to to branch out and do certain things yes, and use whatever your strengths are, you know, to your advantage. Exactly, to your advantages. Bro. We just try and go stupid. Exactly. So gr- we growing people. That's why. That's why. Go to the Patreon. Subscribe. Three dollars a month. Five dollars a month. Ten dollars a month. If you really love us, but we got more content. UJ got his own show on there. Y'all want to see that? You What's think? Going on, man. He's he's censored on here. We can't say a lot of stuff on YouTube. On Patreon, we can say whatever we want. We can talk about whatever we want. Mm-hmm. So join the Patreon. Subscribe now. Link in bio, but man, I know, I know y'all want to see a UJ show. I don't, I don't know who wouldn't want to see one. So I'm saying, what, what what's the name of your show? You want to name it something? Damn, I didn't even get it in a name, bro. We can name it now. Mm. Get your own Patreon exclusive show, bro. I'm gonna come up with a name and get back to y'all. Y'all go. Well, next time you're on the Patreon, you gonna know exactly. There's literally know. we got. I think we got five episodes on there already. Mm-hmm. We got five episodes on there, and if you subscribe to the five dollar to ten dollar tier, ten dollar tier, you get the new episodes a, a day earlier. 
So you don't gotta wait till Sunday. You can wait. See you on Saturday. Come on, people. It's only five, ten dollars, three dollars a month. Get it together. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, man. Before we even kick off the podcast, we gotta kick off this bev. Oh yeah, you just got so, drinks. Whoa, I bought a beverage. So <laughs> y'all know how we get crazy. The last time we did a, like my my episode before last, yeah, we did fruit punch. We did rates on fruit punch because y'all know I'm Wadi the Juice Man. So I was in BJ's today, me and Ty. And I come across Capri Sun in the big bottle. That's weird. That just looks weird. So I'm like, what that tastes like? Because everybody dreamed. I didn't even know it was a color. Down Capri Sun. That's what I'm saying. I thought it was clear. What did you see? No artificial dyes. That's a dang lie. Because Capri rad. Sun in the pouch definitely don't got no color to it. I feel like it was, I thought I thought it was nah, clear. It's like, no, nah, it's not clear. Is it? What is it? It's like like. It looked the color of ginger ale. Oh, like really? Yeah, I've poured it out before. Why? I'm a kid. <laughs> you got <laughs> you know? bored. But anyways, like we said, we about the taste test to see if the Capri Sun fruit punch be busting. Jay, you want some? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, one second, one second, one second. We'll take an immediate uh, intermediate break. Twelve seconds later. Y'all ready, bro? Everybody, cheers. Cheers. No regulars. That's weird. <laughs> Yo, this tastes just it like... It do kind of taste like it. It tastes just like the pouch. I don't like that. It's not bad, but I'm tasting... I I thought the taste that I was tasting... Hold on, Curse. I thought I was tasting the metal. <laughs> what? Like the, the little, I thought it was the cup itself that gave it the little... like. A little tang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really the beverage. I thought it was the 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 cup, the uh, straw combo. Yeah, no, it's the drink. It's bro. the drink. Like this is really. Oh, I don't know if I like Capri Sun no more. No, nah, this is not. Hitting. Maybe That's, it's not cold. Maybe, but like, still, that tastes like watered down. And I like, I like, I drink watered down stuff because I drink like uh, like sugar sugar free stuff. But that tastes watered down for real. I don't know about mm. that. That not hitting. I don't know. That not hitting. I don't know. She about to vomit that joint. He's right? about to spit it. Out. Oh, I thought he was about to spit it out. Nah. I give that like a six, six like five and a half, six. What I had to, to down it first. <laughs> Yo. I can't. I can't give it a a fair rating. Fair rating without uh, you know going down. Pause. <laughs> um, I want to say I was disappointed, man. I was disappointed too. I thought it was gonna be a lot better. That wasn't as good as I thought. Like it really tasted like. Like I was excited because I seen Capri Sun. Me too. I'll be excited too because like you, you look at Capri Sun. They know only, they only sell it in the pouch. Like they don't sell nothing. They don't sell no cans. They don't sell no bottles. But it's like. That tastes, it tastes just like Capri Sun, mm -hmm. but it's like, it doesn't, it, it feels, hit the same. it yeah. don't hit the same, like it just feels less So what sugary. I think, like I said, what I think the issue is, in my mind, it was the straw and pouch combo that I was tasting. That's what you thought it was. But you're actually not tasting the pouch. It's the same thing. That's the juice that tastes yeah. like that. Dang. So what would you rate it? I'm giving that drone a, a cool six. Cool six, yeah, six, six, five, five and a half, six. That's six, what. It's, yeah, that's like it's like very six. mid. Like it's not the worst. Like it's not terrible. Like it's not like I can't drink it ever again. Yeah, nah, but it's like I, there's but, better options. Yeah, out there I don't me. think I will go buy this again. I'll say that. Yo, you know what I what my aunt told me today? What? Yo, do you drink coffee personally? Did you ever drink coffee? I you're not am, coffee. You, I know you. I not. am a young man. What does that mean? I don't like when young people drink coffee. I feel like it's an old person drink. Like I feel like coffee is a drink that you drink when you're like a working class citizen. <laughs> you got yeah, like a nine to five. Shit, yeah, yeah. But all right. So what I learned is that coffee, like grounded up coffee, has a certain percentage of cockroaches in it. Like roaches. Yes. I look at me like I'm crazy. But like think about it. This. Because like... Like not like the the co that's why a lot of people buy like the coffee beans itself and not ground it up because mm -hmm. when you go like because cockroaches are attracted to 
coffee. Like they like coffee. Like the smell of it, taste of coffee. So they go to the coffee a lot. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times, like when they're grinding up the coffee, there might be some cockroaches in there. And they did a study on it, and there is, like, a certain percentage of, like, ground-up coffee is, like, cockroaches. Because I remember I asked my aunt, because my aunt, my, like, Filipinos, they love drinking coffee. So I asked my aunt. She was like, yeah, I don't drink coffee. And I was like, why don't you drink coffee anymore? Just because, yeah, like, I've been getting eggs my breakout because I'm allergic to cockroaches. I'm like, what does that have to do with the coffee? She was like, there's cockroaches in the coffee that Ooh. I drink. She's not allergic to the coffee. She's allergic to the cockroaches. And I didn't know that. So now I'm not drinking no coffee, bro. So technically, the people that be drinking coffee all the time are drinking roaches. Sorry to tell y'all, bro. Hmm. Hey, I don't drink roaches. Yeah, hey, bro, I don't drink no coffee, bro. But I was thinking about, I'm like, that's really nasty, because you really like think about it. Like they just put it in a machine. Like they probably keep it in bags, in like factories, and then they just put it in machines. But like they're, deep in there could be like roaches. You never know. Especially like like I think the best coffee is like Dominican coffee. So like imagine like. There's probably like they probably got some bugs in there. They never they're not gonna clean it out. <sighs> That's tough, bro. Mm. That is tough, man. Free all y'all people, man. You know, freedom, bro. They... That's nasty as fuck. Like, have you tried coffee before? I like so I feel like a lot of my well, it's not even what I feel like it is what it is. Like a lot of your taste is how it smells, and I just don't like the smell. Ah, uh, yeah, that that is true. Like honestly, like I don't drink. Like me and Jay had like um. What's that called? Frappes and stuff? Mm. Like, we'll drink that. But we never got, like, hot coffee. Like, I feel like... Because coffee's addicting. You know mm. that? Like, bro, like, when I tell you my aunts, like, Filipinos, like, it'd be, like, 6 p.m. They're drinking coffee. I just came from their crib for, like, a party. There was at least six people drinking coffee. Mm. And it's like, no, nah, I can't. Like, I can't do that, bro. Like, every every party, they always have to have, like, Dunkin' Coffee and stuff. Come out, my man. What? Come out, brother. So, y'all, this man, Darius, just got his master's degree. Oh, this guy's weird. So, I want to give my brother a motherfucking oh. round of applause, man. You know what I'm Cause saying? Because that shit ain't fucking easy. But the nigga got his master's degree and literally didn't say, like, a, like he just kept it on, like, acting like it's like, you know, it's nothing. That shit ain't nothing, cuz. I understand, but it's like, for me, I don't, I don't like... I'm not like a picture type of guy. Like I didn't want to stand there like take flicks. Like I like my mom. That's did. not true. When did that happen to you? Every time we go out, the nigga dares to stop and want to take his little picture. That is true. When I that when I was younger though, I don't. I'm really not like that. That's anymore. like that was twenty. That was 2019, bro. 2020, 20. 2019. Ever since like, yeah, I, ever since 2019. I don't really like. Ever since you got a girlfriend, that's when you stopped taking pictures. So was you taking pictures for the hoes? Maybe. Type shit. <laughs> that, I'm be honest, but that's like why really, niggas do it. Like it's really, like, like to be honest, right? It's like when you take pictures, right? It's like you're trying to build a resume, but like I ain't trying to build like, like because you look at your Instagram and they're like, oh, you look cute. Like I don't really care no more. Like I don't mm. really care to post no pictures. But like you don't even you don't care to be on your flash no more. Like I mean. I try to, but then it's I, I look at it like dang, like do I want to spend this bread? Now that's what that's how I think about Ooh. it. But there be some day, there be some times where I'd be like, you know, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna buy some clothes. So I buy some clothes, but it's like, I feel like my my trend, like the things I like, is always behind. <laughs> it's always like a couple steps behind. So like whenever I buy something like look tough, there's always like some new stuff. I'm like dang, I wish I could have got some stuff like that. But Ooh. like I, be, I always think about like dang, should I go cop myself some like maybe like a couple fits or whatever? But I'm like. Nah, I might, I might actually cop some because we're going to uh, Dominican Republic in a couple of weeks. So I might cop some closer yeah, to that. Bro, you used to you used to be trying to get fitted up. Any, but that's that's neither here nor there. We won't get back to that. <laughs> but I'm like, damn, bro, nigga ain't take a grab picture. He ain't show himself nothing. He just told niggas last minute, like, hey, yo, I'm graduating, bro. If y'all need to come, bro, y'all need to come, bro. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Hit a, hit a link, bro. All right, bro. Like he just treated it like it was like. I'm like, yo, bro, what's up? Like, throw a grab party, like, something like celebration that you like. Cause they for, like, nah. For me, bro, I look, I don't really like. I feel like I'm getting to that age where I'm not really caring too much about it. Like, even I'm thinking about like my birthday. Like, I like, I feel like I don't want to. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't want too much attention on me. Like, yeah. I don't want a party like this just for me. Like, I don't. So I used to be like that, and then I realized like. People love to celebrate death and not celebrate life. 
So it's like I I used to always like nah I don't need I want enough for my birthday. Nah I don't really need nothing. Nah I don't really. Yeah. Then I realized like my birthday would get people together. Yeah. My birthday would like bring people who ain't seen each other in a long time. Yeah. Would get together and be chopping it up because they really haven't seen or talked to each other in a minute. How old were you when you realized that? I was an adult. So oh, so like, like what, 19? 19, 20. Because mm. like, even when I was younger, like maybe like 8th eighth, eighth to like 11th grade, 8th to like 10th grade, I used to like have birthday parties where me and my friends would go play like paintball and stuff. But like now I just feel like, because you know what I think it is? For me, I always worry about everybody having fun. Like I don't want, like I don't want to be like I don't know why I'm always that type of person where I just care about like make sure everybody's like good, mm-hmm. everybody's having fun. So like I don't want to, like I always like go over like try to think about it too much. No, nah, I've already know because that's how it was my birthday and I was worried about niggas having fun. Yeah. Oh, can you move the the mic up a little bit? Oh shit. Phone? It yeah. was it was my birthday and I was still thinking to myself like I hope like niggas having fun. Yeah. Starting my my birthday party, my friends sitting over here, my family sitting over here. It's like two sides. Yeah. Then eventually. Everybody was like this, mm-hmm. so I'm like, ah, perfect. Like, and then, then I was cool, and then I'm, I'm having. That's a good what I'm time. saying. Like, like I, I always like it's always like that in the beginning. It's like I just want people to enjoy it because, like, and I just feel like if they're not enjoying something, like, dang, maybe I was just like playing something booty or something like that. But I realized over time, it's just like you know, you can't really think about it like that because mm-hmm. like it's still your birthday, and you can't really worry about. Like, of course, they're gonna have fun regardless. That's what it took me a while to realize that. Probably until like maybe. Like sophomore year of college, because remember, remember our freshman year of freshman year of college, I had that birthday party. We went to New York, and we, <laughs> and we almost got we got stuck out there to like four a.m. Oh yes, 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 I do remember. We that. took the train, so we took the train to New York, and oh shit, that was your birthday. Yeah, that was my birthday. We took the train to New York, and we were supposed to go to Dallas BBQs. That was in Times Square, but I didn't know where it was, and I put it on the GPS, but I didn't put walking. I put driving. So it made us go a completely different way around. And I'm like, dang, we mad. Like, we was walking for, like, like I don't know if y'all people, we was walking for, like, a good, like, 45 <laughs> minutes. No, I don't remember. We was walking for 45 minutes, and I was like, dang, wait. We we went the complete wrong way. So when we came, when we got back, we got on the train maybe at, like, 8, 9 o'clock. The, the train, like, the transit train stopped at 1.30 a.m. Mm. So we started eating at, like, 12.30 or we got into we got to the place at twelve thirty, and we left at like one o'clock, so we weren't gonna make it to the train. Mm. That's when I, I remember it was like me. I remember Javon was there, and freaking we was stuck at the train station at like two three o'clock in the morning because we didn't know how to take the path train home. I was like, dang, I'm about to sleep on the floor. I was ready to sleep on the floor, bro. But I don't remember that. Really? Yeah. You don't remember? It was it was me, you, Javon, Chris, Jordan, Ish, um, Quake. Quake like it's kind of like blurry. Quaker was there. Zaki was there. It's kind of blurry. You you don't remember we was there was the guy he had the um he had the thing where you put something on top and you got to move it around. He be like oh be- and niggas oh and niggas caught you that man. No 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 no. Quaker was like yeah it was it was this one the whole time I knew but I just didn't want to say nothing. What do you bro, mean you didn't want to? You know say- niggas be lying, bro. Bro, niggas be lying. Niggas, Zach- don't be, niggas get cooked too, bro. Bro, Zaki got cooked because Zaki's like bro, I promise you it was this one right here. Mm. I was like. All right, bro. I bet $20 on Yo, that. Yo, I remember now. I do remember that day now. It's crazy. I have that in my phone. Do you really? Yeah. I think I have that too. I have that. I have that day. In my, that was your birthday. Yeah. I have that in my phone. We did not get home till like 4.30. Yeah, because we took the path train. I didn't know how to take the path train. And like my bro, mom had to I remember that. But I remember it was like <laughs> 2, 3 in the morning. Yeah. And I'm like annoyed now because I'm like tired, ready to sleep. Yeah. And Jordan was just being loud <laughs> and like joking and having a good time. <laughs> and everybody just like, yo, we tired, we ready to go home. Well, we finally got on the train. Yeah. I'm remembering now. Yeah, bro. And I just like wild on him. I'm like, yo, what is literally your problem? Like we all <laughs> sit here tired, quiet. Why are you so loud? <laughs> That's how, bro. Like, Jordan used to just be doing the most. Like, he was, like, he just could not read the room. That's just how he was, bro. Like, when we was, like, 18. Yeah, Jordan was He really could bad. not read the room. 17, 16 to 18, he could not read the room. I promise y'all, if, like, TikTok streaming was a thing when we was in high school. Yeah, he rich. We'd be famous. All the stuff Aiden, Aiden and them was doing, Aiden, Speed, Jordan, oh, we was all doing man. that. 
No cap, bro. We was doing all the MOOC stuff before. Like, I be, yo, I be seeing stuff now, like, on TikTok. But, like, this, but the thing is, right, they're doing it as adults. Like, they're, the way they play, because if you play sports, like, that's how that's how the locker room be. Like, everybody yeah. play like that. But like that's the reality of shit. Like but now like people are saying MOOC stuff to get like attention. Atten- that like, was weird. Like I be seeing people. We too old now. Yo, I be seeing people. Like, you know the people that on TikTok they be like eating food and stuff. Mm. They be like, yeah, I just got some food from Costco. He's like, yeah, I got an extra super duper long glizzy about to fit in my mouth. I'm like, why are nah, they saying they, that? They be forcing it. I'm like, why? Like, what the are they doing? Person, the person I think that would have been the most viral probably is probably Jordan. Yeah. Probably. I think Jordan probably would have been like like rich. I think Jordan could have been rich if all this stuff was out. Yeah, because like yeah, before they then. before they like censored stuff and you couldn't say certain words and. Oh yeah, dang! It's really crazy. Like we really lived in this. Is like this is our second time period now. Because mm-hmm. now we're in a new period where like you can't say certain things. There's different things out there. When we was younger, it wasn't like this. Now we can say it now. Back when I was younger, we ain't had to do. We had to worry about none. Is we had to worry about saying certain words. We had to worry about uh. Uh, things that we did We was just playing around We can finally say that now bro mm. That's tough bro We were some old dudes bro But um Now I'm glad we was talking about that I got a question to ask you bro mm. I remember I asked this question before But I kind of reworded it So If you decided To identify as a woman Which sport will you pursue? Um Hmm. I'm trying to think of what sports I think I will be good at. I feel like everybody, everybody, quick answer. Oh, WNBA, they cooking you. Man. That's what I'm saying. They're really frying. If you're you. not tall enough, strong enough, they cooking you. Maybe if you're faster, though, you might let that slide. Um, I might play softball nah. or wrestling. I might wrestle. I was thinking what sport? WWE count. I mean, I guess if you want that to count, but like, how is that gonna work for you? I'm gonna be a diva, bro. You gonna be a diva? Would you do MMA? No. You wouldn't do MMA? I'm not. Like, I'm two seventy. I don't want to fight somebody at two seventy two. Like a heavyweight gal. <laughs> I don't think they have though. Girl. I think they heavyweights like one fifty. All right, they heavyweights one fifty, bro. I'll do it. You'll do it. So you. What if they nice though? They probably not gonna be six foot three. They still could be nice though. Like, what's her name? Amanda Nunez, bro. I think she yeah, cooking. They you. could crush niggas. Yeah, that's I think true. she cooking you, bro. I'm not doing UFC. Nah. I'll probably do. The only way I'm fighting UFC, I can get, I can, I can't get heavyweight. Out. I'll get like light heavyweight out though. I can, I can get anything low than that. I'll probably knock them all out, bro. Let me not say that. I don't want to. I don't want to knock them out, bro. I'm gonna say, probably WMA. So you're going to try... Well, because you're tall, though. Yeah. I'm saying... I think I could do softball. I go hoop, bro. I go hoop a little bit. I'm tall enough, bro. I'm strong enough, bro. I'll do that WNBA. What year you think there's going to be the first, like, transgender WNBA player? I don't think they're ever going to do that. You don't think they're ever going to do that? I think they're going to do I that. I think... What they... I think... Sounds crazy, but they do is It's a league. What? Make a new league? Yeah. That's kind of soft. Like, no. wait. Wait. It's inclusive. But like, what if they what they identify as a woman? That's like now you're not saying they go, now you're making a whole separate league like you're like segregating them. No, you're just saying they're transgender. No, but like what if, if you said, they're saying they're not transgender, then they lie. What do you mean? Like they she says I identify as a woman. But does that got a title as transgender? I mean, you could be called transgender, but if you want to be called a woman, you can be called a woman. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how that shit work, and I don't even want to talk on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm saying I feel like if there's a the 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 day we see a Joanna man in the WNBA, I feel like the tickets are gonna rise, bro. I don't think they would about it. It'd, think it'd, it'd, about it'll it. Cost too much eruption. You, what do you mean? It'll cost too much. Like niggas are. Cause think about it. It's gonna. This was gonna do. Cause I'm thinking about it in a way where the there was the swimmer. Mm. When the the swimmer he was a boy he was like ranked 400. But when he transitioned to a girl, he was ranked number one. And then he won like the national championship as for, or she won the national championship for swimming. But the runner up was literally right there, right next to her. Mm. So she was, re- she was out racing a guy and almost won. And she should have won, but they gave it to her because 
it was going to look better on the sport because is the first transgender to win a national championship, whatever. So I'm saying if a guy like say he like six, four, six, five, mm-hmm. he go in as like, he's identified as a woman and he play, he hooping in WNBA. Maybe he could dunk a little bit. What if Whitley started identifying as a woman? You don't think people will go in there and try to watch the games? I think that they would burn the, everything down and anything that he knows. Like, I think it would really, really? be an option. Yeah. Why? I think a lot of hate would be put in the air. Because it's already, I feel like there's already a lot of hate to the sport, and I feel like that's just giving people more ammo. Really? It might bring attention. Like, you know, they'd be like, all oh, publicity is good publicity. Oh, so it might not bring the right attention. It might not bring the right attention. Mm, bro. That's tough. That's really crazy. We really live in a day and age like this, bro. Let me bring. I want. I wish I was back in two thousand, man. Bring me back to. Bring me back to the seventeen hundreds, cause why? What? Seventeen hundreds? Yeah. Why the seventeen hundreds? I feel like it was simpler times back then. Do you know that in the seventeen hundreds that you yeah would not be? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't see now. I feel like right if I was in the seventeen hundreds, they would look at me as like either. An anomaly, or they will be interested in me. Nigga, they will whoop your ass. <laughs> will they whoop me? But I just gotta be in a certain. I just gotta. I'm gonna live in the West. I'm gonna colonize the West by myself. I'm gonna be like Brigham Young in uh the Conquistadors, whatever the things was called. Yeah, bro, you're black, bro. I understand I'm black, but I could. I'm not gonna be. I mean, or I can go to the North. Was the North kind of cool? <laughs> Just stay out the south. You're cooked. I don't in think in the 1700s you're cooked no matter where you go. I don't think, yo, I don't really think 1700s with, with our nods we have now, we're smarter than them slave owners. You're cooked. I don't think so, bro. You just you, they only were they were only they were only treated. <laughs> they were. I can't freaking that that juice is hitting back, bro. <laughs> That juice like on the top of my mouth, like right now. It's like gave me like a nasal, gave me like a nasal drip, bro. I feel like a dog, cuz. <laughs> I'm telling you, if we go back, we can do it, bro. We can outsmart them. You don't think we can outsmart them? I think that we might cause a riot, but hey, man. I'm not each other right now. Why? You not doing it. Doing what? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna fight somebody? You gotta fight somebody. No, no, I mean like they're gonna cause a riot because they see us like trying to revolt, and then they're gonna get like the town with the pitchforks and stuff to like run us out of town. That's what I, I didn't say. I'm gonna beat them all up. Oh, I'm gonna say like we're gonna round like we're gonna round up the people and get up out of there. You're gonna start a revolution, as you say. Yeah. I've, what is the 1700s actually? Um, that's like 1800. 1700s was. I think we were starting to. Was that civil war? I think that was a civil war. That yeah, that was a civil war. So I think that's when. Wait, seventeen up important dates in seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundreds. Um. Mark shift in political structure, Indian continent. Wait, the century almost in, wait seventeen hundreds. I'm I'm writing it backwards. Import. I hate this iPad sometimes. Important events. Great Northern War between Russia and no. America, bro. USA. Delaware Colony Treaty. What is this? San Antonio. That nigga don't even know what 1700 is. Bro, nothing, I don't know either. Nothing happened. Oh, Boston Tea Party. You think they invited you to the tea party, cuz? No, but I'll be the ones that throw the tea up in the ocean, in the water. You're black, bro. What, what you mean, bro? But they, I'm telling you, <laughs> oh, they're not gonna let me. They're not gonna let you me join them. On the boat, I don't want no taxes either. But do you think that? How do you think you could make yourself look less black? Ooh, that's a good question. I have, I have an answer for that. Mm-hmm. So one, I'm going to shave my beard. Mm-hmm. Cause I feel like everybody had a clean shave back then. Shave everything off. And plus, I think back then that's when the men were using like white makeup. Mm-hmm. Like I think they powdered their face so they looked more white and they had that that little hair and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I don't think I think the 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 higher people had that hair. I'm not gonna have that. I'm gonna straighten my hair. 
and have like those little hmm. weird looking comb over things that the little the the weirdos look like. It's like this, like flaps like this. It's like waving like this. I'm gonna have it like hmm. that, and I'm always gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna have like the normal attire, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna go you know I'm gonna go to morning tea and stuff like that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say I hate paying my taxes. Also, I'm gonna hate the little British people around because that's when the seventeen. But you know you won't look white. You know you would look Asian. I think to, what, to optimize your Asian, right? This is what I think you would have to do. I think you would have to go bald. Wait. I think you would have to be clean shaven. Like like to, monk. So. Hmm. Were there? Okay, I'm, I'm looking at you right now, and I think <laughs> like. Were there even Asians in America in the 1700s? When did we come over here? Mm. That's a good question. Was it just white and black people? It can't be. I don't know. No, nah, it had to have been. Because how are they going to get over here? I feel like Asians didn't come to America until about planes how, were... How all these other people came to America with no hassle, but black people couldn't? I don't know, bro. That's what I'm saying. I feel like Asians didn't come here until the plane was invented. Who's the, out, bro. I just thought about that shit, bro. Why only black people came over here and had problems and shit? Like with like as slaves, or, or maybe I just don't know my history. But I don't think we know our history. I don't. I think we're way off with history because I'm thinking, right? If we look at it, Asian people probably didn't get here till I'm about to look this up till 1800s. When was the first Asian in America? When was Please get the, iPads just start searching shit <laughs> in America? Asian in America. Yeah, I'm looking at you, bro, and I'm dissecting, dissecting, bro. You shave your facial hair, and you go bald. You will look like an Asian man. I look like a real Asian man. Yeah, I think so. I would too. So look, the first Asian <laughs> wait Asian <laughs> origin population had historically been in a territory that would eventually become the United States since the 16th century. That's a lie. The first major wave of Asian immigration occurred in the late 19th century. So that's like 1800s. That's crazy. Huh. So, they might, you know what? If I look even more Asian, they might look at me like, how the heck did you get here? Because we didn't, like, mm. how did you get here? Like, you don't look like you're rich. Like, how did you appear? They might look at me as like, either. they way, might think I'm Native American, Loki. You are not anything that is of that time, so you're done up. Yeah, no, I'm going to cut. That's what I'm saying. So, I probably do got to go bald. Or, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look like a Native American. You think you can do that? Yeah, I think I could blend in with the native. I could definitely blend in with the Native Americans. I could definitely blend in with the natives, bro. I got the skin color. No, you don't. What do you mean? No, I don't. This is how they look. No, they're darker. I mean, of course, it's in the summertime. I'm gonna get dark, but like in the wintertime, I'm gonna have like you know, I'm gonna maybe. Not- nah, the delusion is hitting you right now. It's usually me. What you mean? If I just dress like them and just like you know, oh, you know, what I could do. I could have my hair in braids. I can braid my hair. Who gonna do it? The natives. <laughs> <laughs> I find the Who Apaches. It, like I said, bro, you on your own, bro. Just shave. Shave it off. I feel like I'll stand out a lot more. And they'll look at me like, "What are you? Like, who are you? Mm. Like, you don't belong here. Like, why do you have a bald head? I would like to see you bald. No, I'm looking at you, bro. Why do you want to see me bald? I'm kind of interested to see, like. Like, this man's really just staring at me for, like, yeah, a good, I mean, like... I've been staring at the thing. Just, I've been, like, no, no, some weird shit, like... Nah, I'm uncomfortable with that. <laughs> you know, like, I'm really I've been looking at this thing, trying to imagine you, like, no facial hair and bald. And what does it look like? Like, you look really, like, Asian. <laughs> like... Yo, that's, that's interesting, though. <laughs> what do you, you think? Know, you're a biracial man, you know? Yeah. I'm biracial, biracial, too. What are you biracial with? Asian. You're not Asian. Yeah, yeah. Like, what part of Asia? Maybe India. Lebanon. That's Middle East. Nah, it's Asia. Is it really? Are you sure that's not by, like... That's not by... Brother. It's in Asia, bro. Twin. (laughs) This guy is really (laughs) weird, bro. This guy is really weird. But I think I can survive in a lot of different time periods. Like the Stone Age? Can I survive the Stone Age? I got to pull up some milk. Look at him. He said it was almost mid. It should ask, though. But I'm thirsty. 
The shit so ass it make you more thirsty. Mm. No, I can survive the Stone Age. Um, how? This is how I'm gonna do it, right? What is the Stone Age to you, and how would you survive it? Stone Age is Neanderthals <laughs> with the mix of ma- woolly mammoth and saber tooth tigers. So now this is how I'm going to survive the Stone Age. How long? If I if I have to survive a year, this is what I'm gonna do. Huh. So first, the, you're cooked. So first off, right? I'm going to find a village. Because I feel like they were Neanderthals and there were some people that had a clue of what they are. Mm-hmm. Because Neanderthals were basically animals. Yeah. But I think there was like in like if I go by my knowledge from Ice Age, the first Ice Age movie, there was actual human beings. Remember with the little girl? So I'm gonna go run yes, 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 I'm yes. going to run with them and I'm going to learn their ways. I'm going to hunt. I'm going so to So you're going based off the movie Ice Age. Yes. You're cooked. Like, <laughs> Yo. but like, think about it now. Back then, there was more oxygen, mm-hmm. so I might be stronger. Mm, I might, gr- I might grow, because there's more oxygen, like feeding it. And now, the only thing I gotta get used to, like, it's gonna suck for the first like month because I'm gonna get like sick a lot because I'm not used to it. But I feel like I, as long as you can get through that period, you can adapt to it. Mm. All you gotta do is worry about the big animals, the freaking. And some of the some of the plants. That's another thing. Mm. And I just need to find those people. And this I'm gonna find them by this is why I watched a lot of survival shows. So a lot of people, like indigenous and native people, they like to build land and station by water. Mm. Because either streams, not really by the like like on the coast because they really can't drink the seawater, but like streams and like by lakes. So if you follow, most of the times when you follow follow water, you either find animals or you find people. So I'm going to follow, find a stream and I'm going to follow it and then find a colony and then be one with that like colony. With and then I can actually, I'm actually want to. So you think that colony will embrace you? Once they see me as like use, like I can like hunt, I can like gather so firewood. you see them and you don't know their language, how do you communicate with these niggas? That don't this shit, this don't mean nothing to them. Be like, be like. Oh, <laughs> <Yo, laughs> I mean, you know niggas watch too much TV. What if in their language this right here means suck my dick, bitch ass nigga, fuck out of here. Like. But look, you gotta just you have to give them offerings. So I'm gonna have like something with that. Me. That can work. No matter what language you are speaking. Yeah. See, you gotta think now. You gotta think of it like I, these guys. They might be. But, Certain things could mean something bad. I know, but I'm gonna offer you could offer some a banana and that shit really mean like I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna kill y'all niggas. That could be, but I'm going to find either food, either bring back food, a fish, a wep not a weapon, a weapon's bad, a flower, a bunch of flowers as like a peace offering, and just kneel and just be like and just yeah. And then I think they'll like me. But then I'll also want to challenge over time. I want to challenge the village elder so I can now. <laughs> so you can run that shit? So now I could be the, at the top of the tribe. Because I, you, like, I like that. I like you got to challenge the top dog. But like it depends. Become the top dog. It depends now. I got to. But I got to live with them at least for like a year. Hmm. till I can. So I can study him. Is every move. If somebody else challenges him into like a duel or whatever. I got to see what he does. If he marks that guy. Just so when the time comes, I'm fully prepared to get this guy out of here. Mm. So I think that's how I do it. If I am to be in the Stone Age, I would be the Stone Age. What does that even mean? Like, like, like think like, about now. No, no, no. Wait. We're going to wait now. You said, and I quote, if I was to go into the Stone Age, I will be the Stone Age. Yeah. What does that mean? Gonna be one with the Stone Age, my nigga. You gonna be one like you're going to turn in you're trying to say like you're gonna turn into a uh Whatever I have to do, I'm gonna do it. So you're gonna moral eat. or immoral. See, I don't what is that even like okay, so but do you know what to do is the question. Yes. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. Do you see this people you hear this people? 
this is y'all talk about me. He I have a whole plan. This guy's just gonna be say he's gonna drop in and adapt immediately. <laughs> like he just thinks <laughs> it's just gonna go his way. Like yeah, you ever heard of a nigga who born ready? I don't know if that you're ready for you that. You ever heard that was you, before you were bro, born, bro. That was a no no. That, yes. that has nothing to do with anything, bro. If somebody had a time machine, yeah, it's a yes or no question, bro. Yeah. Have you ever heard of a nigga who born ready? Yes. I think so you know. When I arrive to the Stone Age back in the in the time in the time zone. Yeah. First thing I for me, pull up in the dinosaurs. Uh, like, you I mean, gonna pull dino- up on the, the dinosaurs? dinosaurs. The, um, that was in the mammoth for like. The ma- so you can pull up on the woolly mammoths. Yeah. Now that is not what you're, you're not supposed to do. That I gotta see. I didn't say I'm gonna like come and get them. Pull up to the hood, see how they operate. All right. You know what's gonna get, get you now? A saber tooth tiger who was stalking the woolly mammoth now sees this I'm, big. I, no, 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 no! I'm pulling up to the hood. I'm not making noise in the hood. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just here to see what. what. So your first step is to go into find the woolly mammoths mm-hmm. and to watch them. Just see how they move. So they're that's gonna, the first thing you're gonna they're do. They're gonna be my first meal. So what are you gonna kill them with? You're gonna make. I'm gonna make a weapon. With what? Let's see how you're gonna make a weapon. All I need is wood. Just wood. Yeah. No rocks. No. The, you can. I don't think. A, so you're just gonna sharpen up a, a stick. If I use a rock, I'll just sharpen up the rock. That's what I'm saying. Use the same thing. You can make an axe with a rock yeah, if you just chip it up a little bit. If I use a rock, it'll just be using it for the same thing. I don't rush. think you're taking down a woolly mammoth. I don't think Wooly Man is taking down me. I think it's running. It's going to hit you, and you're going to tumble over. I don't know who you think you are, <laughs> but this is like, 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 I, this is, you J been like this his whole life, but now he talking about stuff after, before his life. Yeah, but this, but this is, but this way, like I said, I'm born ready, so I'm able to adapt. We haven't, I told you, like, when I'm anxious and nervous, right, you wouldn't know because the first thing I do is adapt to the situation that I'm in. But that's so how you... no one could ever know if I'm not comfortable in this situation. But now, you're going into a situation that not even science knows how to adapt to it. How are you so going to adapt? Because science don't know, I'm damn near a scientist. Do your homework when they used to call me doctor. Who called you doctor? Did they... <laughs> I didn't call him. Bro. I didn't call him. We all when they used to call me doctor, bro. I don't know who called him doctor. It wasn't me. But come on, bro. You think I I'll, I'll go to the Stone Age and not figure that shit out, man? You t- be honest. You no. think I'll go to the Stone Age and no. not figure it out? I think I think what you're gonna do is I think you're gonna you're gonna have a plan, but I don't think you're gonna execute that plan. This, what plan have I ever done that ain't executed, bro? This. Executing a plan in modern day and during a time with but dinosaurs a, and a plan is a plan. I think a plan would be more difficult now than back then, if anything. Why? You have so many other factors. I think back then it's so simple. Just don't kill get or eaten? be killed, nigga. But you don't know what is out to kill you. That's the thing. We know where animals was kind of we know for the most part. We know for the most part. But they but they think about it, everything was bigger. Plants were bigger, the animals were bigger. So that means I get to be bigger too. But, like, you just hopped in. You're not just going to go in and grow like you're Mario. I mean... Like, you got to be in there for a good amount of time. Like If you leave me in there, like I said, I'll be able to make a fire. Yeah. I'll be able to kill some. Mm-hmm. I'll be able to find shelter. Uh-huh. So you're not even going to look for help. Nigga, I am the help. I'm going to... I'm dropping down to go help someone who's there. Wow. No, I'm not... See, if we were there together, we split up because I'm not going, I'm not following you unless you're trying to find somebody, some other real people. But I'm not following you. Why? Because I feel like your plans would be unrealistic. What do you mean unrealistic? Like your, Did you just hear what you said? Be, uh, you just said you're going to kill a woolly look, mammoth look, your with plans a stick. Would be, I didn't say that, bro. Yes, you did. I said with some wood. Yes, yeah, some wood. I didn't say what I would do with the wood yet. Okay. But like I said, your plans will be based off of hope. I'm looking at the reality of things. But you are going based off of big macho ego. 
I'm not. Yes, you are. Because you are going, you are looking at a woolly mammoth and be like, this is food. I'm not looking at a woolly mammoth food. I'm like, I don't want to mess with them. Let me go find the little little squirrel looking things and I'll go no eat way. that. Because they were probably like this big. I could kill that thing. I'm not going for the biggest, one of the biggest animals on the earth. There's only one way for me to become the biggest animal on the earth. This man, yeah. This guy, he just wants to live in a world where there's superpowers, bro. So he can say he got a superpower. This is some, there's no way. Uh, uh, I'm telling you, bro. You sleep. This is just I don't know why. You, see, this, this is my power on these, bro. Yeah. Time and time after again. They were, oh, you did be saying crazy stuff. You did be rallying. But then when the situations, when I prove to niggas, like, I really am that. Come but on, this bro. is completely different. So what about when I jumped in the water and I don't even know how to swim? But you didn't swim. You were just, I mean, literally, that's like, a, I feel like swimming is a natural human thing. Now it's a natural, I don't know how to swim. But like. I don't even know how to tread water. You know how they teach so, you? Real quick, I jumped in the water to save my brother Fritz. As y'all do know, Brother Fritz, I jumped in the water to save him, and I don't know how to swim, but I jumped in the ocean for my brother. Anyways, you know how they you know how they teach you how to swim first? They throw you in the deep end to see how you react to it. But when you're born ready, how do you react? Tell me. <laughs> that is so <laughs> weird, bro. When you're born ready, how do you react? You like you know like you don't know how to swim at all. Not really. I I know how to like I don't know how to tread water. I know how to do this. You know how Trent Waters is going like this. I can't do it. Have you tried it? Yeah, I've tried hella times. Maybe you're just not buoyant. Like, you can't float. I don't know what this nigga talking about. I know I jumped in that water to save Fritz. Were you touching the floor? No. I was swimming. <laughs> hey, bro, your animal instincts kicked in. I told you we all can swim as long as life is... No, on. I'm born ready. There was a time for me to save somebody. And that's what I'm saying. It's a situation where... Whoa, what's happening? What's going on? So you think on? that situation could justify you going into the Ice Age and surviving and killing woolly mammoths? I and- think that situation is a testimony to if I'm in a situation where I have to best it, yes. I will best it. I will always be the odds, bro. You'll be a great motivational speaker. because <laughs> I will always be the odds. This guy... I think my plan is a lot more realistic than his. Hey, to, that's just me, though. Hey, you ever seen a nigga... Have you... You wasn't there. What? You ever seen a nigga jump in the water that can't swim? You've been in water with me before. You ain't never seen me swim, bro. You see me stand up. <laughs> when we go in them pools. You see me stand up. I have a video of UJ with a life vest on in a pool. It hit different. As I like, had a grown-ass man. I got a life vest on because I dead can't swim. <sighs> but when my brother drowned and I could swim... So is there any situation where you don't think you can you can fix or adapt to it? Is there any situation in the world? That I can't adapt? Yeah. Um death. <laughs> so every situation you can adapt. Almost everything. I, I I gotta be there. I gotta see. But this is where I got him. What? If somebody throws you off a plane, you're not gonna learn how to fly. I mean, that just doesn't happen. We can't fly. Somebody actually lived though from that. Like So if any if anybody was to, to But you live, you a big guy dead. though. I probably lived then. No, nah, I don't think so. The mm. the person that lived was a small girl. I probably live. Nah. She could live. She's weak. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this guy is actually man, crazy. she can live, man. She's weak, bro. Come on, bro. This guy's actually. You told me I couldn't live, bro. No. That small girl could live, bro. No, I don't think I don't think you're making it, bro. I don't think you're getting down there. Like I don't think you're going to be able to. But there's no situation that we've experienced or seen in which I have not been able to adapt. All right, if if we're on a plane and the plane's go and the pilot killed himself mid-flight and we you have to land the plane, I don't think you're landing the plane. Yo, Darius, I think. You're not landing the plane. There's no way. Fuck, yeah, yeah, There's no yeah, way you're landing wait, the plane. Wait, wait. I'm jelling and all that. I'm jelling and all that. Bro. If that plane, my life is dependent on me me holding up this plane. Yes. Nigga, I'm flying this plane. <laughs> There's no way. Nigga, no. I'm flying this plane. So, bro. like, if somebody be like, yo, the pilot. Off street adrenaline. I'm, <laughs> I'm flying this plane. There's no way. I'm so, all right, so I'm jelling all that. I'm dead serious right now. Wow. I think I can figure it out and fly that plane. So, 
I don't think so. I don't. Okay. So it look. I told you I've been trained. Like, I told you, bro. I've been training life since a, since a kid, bro. Yeah. Putting myself in situation. Nobody knows. This, I'm saying now. I'm planning on getting my boat license. Hmm. Yes, I want to get my boat license. Why? You just never know. So you're actually going to get a boat license. Yeah. You're going to learn how to drive a boat. You're going to learn how to drive a boat. <laughs> yeah, we're going to learn how to drive a boat. Okay. Well, in New Jersey, you don't really need a boat license unless you get like a certain uh, size boat. Yeah. But I want to learn how to drive boats. I don't think it's that hard. I just think it's turning and shooting. Wow. You're really, you really think you're like in a movie. Hey. I, I think about me. I think I'm in a movie. He's worse than me. This is like this is actually insane. So you think you can land a plane? Yes. All right. Plane gets hijacked. And his niggas on there. Yeah. Say you're on the plane, nine eleven. Mm. You saving the world? You saving that plane? The plane already hit. No, no. It's like they they hijacking. They just hijacked. They just came out the bathroom with the so, mask on and the AKs. There's no way you're getting out of there. So it's like the reason why there's no way they not can win that is because dumb brothers want to die. But Loki, actually, I don't think they had guns. I think they had not. I think they just had butter knives. But they had knives. Them crunching you niggas with not butter knives. Oh, so you winning? Yeah. Oh, man, bro, that's crazy work, bro. I can't. So I can't. I'm not even surprised, bro. I got no words, but I'm not surprised. I don't know why you would be, bro. I've never, like I said, bro, I've never not handled business when it was time to handle business, bro. I think I think it liked the same way, though. Like, I prepare myself for a lot of things. Bro, I've, like I'm sorry, I've never not handled business when it was time to handle business, bro. Like, I lift weights thinking, like, I got to protect my family. I think that's how you should look at life as a man. Like, you just got to be prepared for anything. So, I, anything I am the same way. You just never know, bro. Yeah. I can't believe I'm agreeing with this guy, though. I got him. He did got me, hey, bro. I, I am the same way. I ain't going to lie. I do be think I could do that. With the plane and everything, I think I could. Man, I think I could. I could see myself doing that, too. I, I don't want to say it, like, but I can see it. I don't think. I don't think. So... I probably could get that plane to land in some water. Yeah. Um, actually, that's what I might do. I might learn a. I might go to a plane course. Get a pilot license, and now you're wilding. No, I can't. No, I don't want to do that. Hey, if you get a pilot license though, or if you want to fly, don't fly no planes. Do not get those. Don't don't ever go in no Boeing seventeen plane. What's that? So yo, like I don't think I'm a fly. United or like American again, bro. Like, do you ever the Boeing seventeen planes? Is the planes that it's like a it's not like a airline. It's the planes that the airlines buy from. Mm. And I don't know if you ever peeped. Like a couple of years ago, there was a bunch of planes that was just crashing, like randomly. There was like I think like two years ago, two planes crashed in a matter of two weeks, and like everybody died on it. And then freaking there was another plane. There was like a a another plane. It wasn't a plane crash, but like when they was taking off. The, the wheels fell off. That I remember, yeah. And they slid off the thing. That was a Boeing 17 plane. Mm. And then I think another plane, I don't know, you've probably seen this one. It was on TikTok. The freaking emergency door on the plane Came flew off. Yeah, off. That was that. the same type of plane, the Boeing 17 plane. And like, I suppose that company is like very corrupt. And I remember there was a guy, I think he was like a, he was one of the engineers or whatever. And he was like, trying to out the company saying like they don't really do their job they don't check the planes correctly they use like old parts for the planes and that's why everything's breaking down and stuff mm-hmm. and they're not doing the proper safety proco- uh, protocols and he was suing the company and literally the day they was about to go to court he was dead they said he got they said he killed himself and i'm like oh yeah they murdered a little bro bro they got him out of there and then another one it was like a month ago in april there was another guy that came out he was another um engineer or like a worker of the Boeing 17 like a, a employee and he was saying like yeah they don't be doing none of this stuff like they don't do the right checks and he died a month ago they said he had a like a heart failure but his family was like he had he was he always worked out he always ate healthy like he did have no heart problems before that he just randomly died of a heart attack mm. so I don't know what those people are doing over there I hope they don't, don't get me out of here I'm just the messenger don't pack me up 
But it really goes to show that a lot of these big companies, bro, when they want you to shut up, they really make you shut up, bro. Hey, better shut up. Hey, man. But don't be flying, though. If you're ever going to plane, don't take United, bro. Take JetBlue. I do fuck with JetBlue. Same, bro. JetBlue got the good stuff. But uh, you want to talk about something or you want me to go, go oh, to yeah, the topic? Oh, yeah. I, I got a list of stuff. Yeah, UJ... <laughs> UJ came prepared for this pod, bro. So let's get into it. I do got I got some questions for my boy. Yes, sir. What five states mm-hmm. could team up and take on the rest of the United States? Mm. Just five, right? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. That's a good These these five states. If these these five states team up, mm-hmm. they're cooking the rest of the states. All right. Off the rip, I'm going Florida. The mm. reason why I'm going Florida is because Everybody in Florida is either hood or a redneck. Ooh. It's like North North Florida, that's where the rednecks be at. Bottom Florida, down by Miami, that's where the hood dudes at. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's a good mix of people. Like You don't want to mess with them. They both could carry guns. They both got <laughs> guns on them, and they yeah. both not afraid to use them guns. Uh-huh. So I got Florida. Next, I got Texas. Ooh. Texas, they've been having guns for years, and they already want to revolt against the United States. So I'm like... They already got that mindset. Mm. If they all teamed up with the big states, they're really cooking us. Cooking us and man. everything's bigger than Texas. They got some big dudes down there. Mm. Another state, I don't. I, he's Mook. I would say um, California. There's a lot of gangs in California. Mm. Like, we're not even just black gangs. It's got black, white, Spanish, all types. It's very diverse over there. So you don't know what they got. They might got the mafia over there. Mm. So they got the underground. They got the... And they got... And they got a lot of famous people over there. So they got the connections mm. to certain things. They so they got... Money and they got there. bread. So I say California. So Florida, Texas, Cal... Those are the locks. Now, the, these two get tricky. I want to say New York. But I feel like New York is not... I feel like... Because we don't allow guns around here, mm. it's not really going to... I feel like we're most of the, the chatters. Yeah. So I feel like... But they even though some of these dudes do be shooting, though, mm-hmm. but like the dudes that are casuals that aren't known for shooting, they don't got... They're not going to help. You know what I'm saying? Like people in Florida, they could... They not. They not... They might not be hood, hood dudes and rednecks, but they might still got guns. Yeah. Like to protect. Regular, regular civilians. Regular civilians yeah. got guns. So I'm saying, I was going to say Georgia, because Georgia's a big state in Atlanta. They all could shoot down yeah, there. Yeah, I like Georgia. I say Georgia. And then one last state I'm going to go with is um, this is a weird one, but you have to you have to go with me here. I'm going with Utah. Now you look at me crazy. Why Utah? And I now you have to Utah is ninety eight percent Mormon, right? <laughs> so now, right? Get look up. They have. They are all united in Utah. Mm. So that means everybody is together. In order to take over something, you have to be. You have to have chemistry and teamwork. Utah is the only state where literally everything in Utah goes through like Mormons and stuff. So if they're already they're already together, they already get along with each other. Like you can say New York, and you can say you can have New York people. They don't really get along with each other. Mm. Everybody in Utah, they get along with each other. They might have guns. They a little country out there. They're used to the wild. They're used to going out in like colder areas too. So that might help them when they're trying to invade like Colorado and stuff, mm. and freaking uh, Wyoming and Montana and stuff. That that things up north. Mm-hmm. They are the more northern ones that could help because the ones I, the, a lot of the states I called out, there are a lot of southern states. Mm-hmm. So I feel like they themselves could help with taking over the colder states because they're used to the cold. Mm. So I say Utah. I like that. I like that five. That five is similar to mine. My five is Texas. Yeah. Florida. Yeah. I just like the fact that they're, the, when you border in water, yeah. It's just like, it's it's not too many ways niggas could get you. They can swim. Yeah, but I can see you coming. Exactly. They ain't. So. Mm-hmm. Florida and Texas, Texas they got to be locks. Bro. Texas, Florida, definitely locks. Mm-hmm. I want to say California, because California damn near the coast, the whole West Coast. Yeah, literally. And um, don't even know, that's a lot of people in there. I want to say... 
I want to say New York, but n- not because of the city. Because mm-hmm. New York also has upstate. But I don't think they. I feel like upstate New York is a bunch of rich people. Well, upstate New York, you could get lost. So say someone wants to attack New York. Oh, they know where. You don't know okay. where you're going. Okay, okay, okay. That you is true. They do got a lot of mountains up there. That's yeah. where the, the skiers lost, be at. Like you get lost upstate. Okay, okay, okay. You get cold over there. So that's why I'm going to New York just because of upstate. Mm-hmm. And the people, the people get wild. Yeah, but yeah. But actually, I might take New York down because New York will turn on each other. That's what I said. That's what I'm saying. Um, Hawaii. Why Hawaii? Oh. Oh, okay, go ahead. Give me a reason. Because... Who really going to go over there and fuck with Hawaii? And if you really want to get at them, you have to get in that water. Yeah. And it's kind of true because there's a lot of places in Hawaii where the locals, and those are the big guys. They're huge. They're big like, dudes. And and plus, it's like in Hawaii, like there's certain places that they don't like allow locals and they're really territorial with their stuff. Mm-hmm. But okay, I like I like Hawaii. That's not bad. I'm fucking with Hawaii. Heavy. So you got Hawaii, California, Florida, Texas. Now you need one more. And then I'm going to go... Alaska. Now you lost me. Now why Alaska? Who going to Alaska? But like you gotta think about it. now they're gonna take over they gotta take over. They gotta United take State. over, yeah. But my thing is who going to Alaska? My thing is also, right? But there's not a lot of people in Alaska. Traveling wise, right? Yeah. Just based off we could send from from the West Coast, we could send niggas over there. Yeah. And we could just use cause I got California. Uh huh. We could uh, handle so you, that. So you're like you're like closing them in like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That works. So keeping that that whole area. That works. That works. That held works. together. Cause say we don't have Hawaii. Mm-hmm. We Florida. I mean, Cali gotta watch their back. Cause Hawaii can sneak up on them. Uh huh. Oh, so as long as you have Hawaii, like you're not surrounded. Mm-hmm. Uh So you got the you got the law the further states so they could like border everything. They can mm-hmm. corral things. Okay. All right. I like that. I like that. I like that analogy. Okay. Dang, bro. Imagine we had like a freaking civil war, like a. I seen a movie like that. I seen a movie and it it, it inspired me to think of it, cause it was just like, damn, what the fuck am I watching? Is it was it that new movie? It, I think it's. it's I was just thinking maybe it's. Just, I don't know what it's called, but I, I just seen it. I it think worked. I think I heard of that movie before. <laughs> it's li- it's literally like a civil war in the states. Mm. Well. Hold on. It was a de- and then the main character was a uh, uh, what's the name lady doing? She was like a reporter. She was a oh yeah 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 yeah! I did see that. I seen that. I see. I didn't see the movie, but I seen the trailer. trailer yeah. It, it was, came it out already. Cool. Yeah, it came I didn't out. even know that. It was pretty cool. Oh shoot! Dang, bro. But I'm gonna ask this one more question, and then you can we can go on with the that one topic you want to talk about with the the baddie lingo. Ooh, I do like that. Yeah, DJ's been wanting to talk about this. I, he's guessing. I ain't been wanting to talk about it. <laughs> so, someone's giving you a button. Someone's giving you a button that every time, and every time you press that button, you get a thousand dollars. But it will also make a random person in the world's life go to kill you. How many times you'll push that button? Come on, so you said somebody give me a thousand dollars. Every time you press the button, you get a thousand dollars into your bank account. Mm. But also, every time you press that button, some a random person in the world is going to try and kill you. Like that'll be their main goal in life is to oh, kill I'll you. I'll probably get about ten bears. So you can press it ten times to let ten people yeah. try to kill you. No, nah, that's too much. I might just press it once, but I'm scary. No, nah, I, t- I could kill that person too. I mean, you could. <clears throat> I just go to a place that got self defense laws. Oh, you know they have those, right? Yeah. Like in like, there's like a spot in like, there's like a spot in like the United States where it's like, it's like, like four country, four um states meet and like in that area, like there's like no laws apply, so you're just gonna go there. Yeah. But ten people though. I killed that. Look at him! Look at him! Uh, he... I'll do what I have to do. Somebody after me, I will do what I have to do. Ten minutes. I'll, I'll do it for 10 minutes. Okay. All right. I'm only pressing it one time. You the, if this person is coming at, bro, I'm going to do what I have to do. If they mad at me giving $1,000, bro, you got to. So I'm 10 gonna, is your limit, though. Like, you're not going to go more than that. What if I fall in love with the. With the so, what? <laughs> with the. <laughs> yo, this guy's weird, bro. This guy's actually. A, <laughs> yo, this guy's actually weird, bro. Right. This man go manipulate them, be like, no, please. Let's go on a date. No, that's not what I meant. 
Fall in love with the butt, like pressing the button. Yeah, bro. And every time somebody come after me, bro, Undertaker they have, bro. Oh, so you like you like a serial killer now? Yeah, bro. Wow, this guy, no, no, I can't do it, bro. I'll take one. Hopefully that. That's the new slang. What? And for us to not use the K word. Oh, we're gonna Undertaker now? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna start using that. We're gonna start using that in the game because UJ began as banned. UJ ban. nothing, bro. UJ began as banned on the game. If y'all want if y'all wondering why we're not we don't be streaming, it's because of UJ. I wasn't even there last time when they still got banned, bro. No, uh, it's it's tough, bro. But you wanna go with your lingo? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But before you go with your lingo, we have a commercial. Uh, shout out to our sponsors. We'll be right back, people. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys a special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N O R E G U L A R S, all caps at checkout. We'll save you $20 on your first purchase with Seat Geek of over $50. Think about it, people. That's $20. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. Seat Geek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over 70,000 events. They got sports. They have music festivals. They got concerts and many more. They have over 28 million downloads. 28 million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers, they have a rating system of how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. Because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in to Seat Geek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout to save you $20 on your first order of over $50 or more. That's N-O-R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S. Thank you again, Seat Geek. Now let's get back to the podcast. I'm not saying we get, we different than regular, regular. You know what I'm saying. Come on. Let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out. Welcome back. How y'all doing? <laughs> Did y'all enjoy the sponsorship? Because those are our guys and our gals. But anyway, we got something special for y'all, man. Let's hear it. Right now, we know we the guys. We the gangly. But we do... Be around the gals, you know. And I ain't going to front. Some of the gal lingo can be cool. Some of it can be ass. So right now we're about to rate which gal lingo is cool, which one ass, which one's usable for the guys, and which one's just not it. Let's go. So we're going we're gonna to rate it 1 to 10 mm-hmm. on usage that we can use it. And, like, when you say it to me, I'm going to try to say it. And as it a don't lingo. sound cringe. Like, it don't. It can flow with us. All right, bet, bet. All right, bet. Whatever lingo you say, I'm going to try to say it to see if it makes it sound cool. All right, so it's the blank for me. So be like, it's the shoes for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the yo, shoes for me. You see the bro, like, you see bro. Damn, that's like, the yo, shoes for hey, me. Hey, bro, it's the shoes for me. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I'm going to give that shit like a three. I don't think, I don't think we can use that one. I'm that's like a three. two, cuz. Like, like a... damn, that shirt fire. That's the shirt for me. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That is it's, it's, OD. It's a cool three. I don't. I don't think that's for us. No, <laughs> it's really not. It's not. It's not. That's bad. Um, we got that's that's the first one. We got gagging. Gagging. Yes. Hey yo. That's what I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yo, what? like girls that use like, oh, I just gagged you. Who says that? Girl, I swear to God. What is that? That's girl lingo. Use like, that in a sentence. Girl, oh, I just gagged you. Like, oh, I caught you or I made you, like, stop what you were going. Like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. That's like, mad A-O. You, like, that's, trick, a... that's just super A-O. <laughs> yo. Like, I'm going to get that shit like a That's like a, a one. one. But yo, I just gagged you. I just get like, you that's, tell that's a like, bro, like, that's, that's I just gagged good. you? Niggas up. Nigga, you just did what to me? <laughs> That's not like some mook stuff. That's not like some craziness. <laughs> I but it, that is it's like like they use it in a from like 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 you were shocked or something. Like I made you shocked, pretty much. Wow, they could have said shock. Nah, that's uh, what that's what they lost me. I nah, I I can't. So we got okur. I gotta I got you gotta do the roll. I can't too. roll my arms you though. Do the roll too, like do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm okur. not doing all that. That o- was crazy. Okur. Okur is like, <laughs> dog, we can't even use that. Like, nah, we can. Like, yo, bro, good shit, bro. You really graduated school, bro. Yeah, okur. Yeah, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm gonna have to get that one. That's a two. That's a that's a two or one or two. If I can roll my that's eyes, pretty, I can do that, it. No, that's pretty low. Okur, but that's like nothing I... the guys can do, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, nah, I'll give it a two. I'll give it a two. Nah, 
And that's a one. Oh, okay. that's lower than than uh Gak. No, it's up there. That's low. That's that's higher than gagging, bro. <laughs> that's higher than gagging, bro. No, that's crazy. Yeah. I don't even like saying that. Oh my gosh. All right. Period. Like, 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 give me, give me a scenario. Like. Like man, I'm tired of this all this schoolwork, but this man, teacher blowing my shit. Period, bro. <laughs> 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 all right, that shit was kind of cool. Was hard. I ain't gonna front. That shit like a. That's a cool like five. Nah, that's like a seven. That's a seven. Yeah. Like period. Jay, wait, what, Jay? That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> like period, bro. Like I, I know what you mean. Period, bro. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, like yo, these niggas ain't gonna play with me no more. Period. Ah, there you go. That shit decent. That's tough. That's tough. That's like seven and eight. That's seven and eight. That's cool. So I think we could use period. Yeah, we could. We could. I think that's calm, bro. That's I cool. think I think a nigga could slip a period in there, and I'm not tripping. That sounds crazy. I'm not <laughs> tripping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, but I'm gonna use it like this. Mm-hmm. So we look. We outside and. It's not bright enough. It's nighttime, yeah. but the moon is not bright enough. So they gonna say the moon is not mooning. That's tough. That's not, you can do that. So can we use that? Can we use like this drink not drinking? <laughs> <laughs> like, this drink, this, this drink, drink not, not drinking, drinking for real. Yeah. This drink not drinking for real, bro. It's, it's not drinking. That, nah, you can, we can use that. That's, that's a cold. ten, bro. That's, that's a 10. 10. That's a yeah, 10. that's 10. I'm checking. Yeah. That's a 10. Jay, that's a 10? But the light oh, not yeah. lighting for real, bro. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a 10. That's that's a 10. <laughs> that's cool, bro. All right, man. <laughs> so we got... It's giving. It's giving... It's giving broke. Why you do the hand, though? <laughs> <laughs> he did the hand. <laughs> you think we can use that? But like, like, we have an argument. Like, like pretend we're arguing. But it's like they dragged the it's giving. Like, like it's, it's giving... giving. Oh, no, nah, I can nah. do it. Nah, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Like, give, me, give me a scenario. Um, my shirt is black. It's, you know, it's giving... Uh, Three, four. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four. It's giving... Uh, all right. Nah, three four. Three four. Three, four. That shit pretty low. I say okay. I give it like a four. I give nah, it a four. Nah, that's that shit. That shit though, cause like if if we chilling and the bro be like mm, it's giving, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck bro, we're good. <laughs> I think yeah. it's because they use it a lot. But that's what that's why they use it like them. they be like it's giving like they be like oh gosh. So we got what does say per? Yeah, no, he said occur. Oh, yeah, so per like per. Mm-hmm. That's like period though. That's like period per though. <laughs> period per though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like period per, bro. So what I'ma say, I'ma say like like per. Yeah. Like yo. That's how it's used, right? Like period you t- per? You tough at basketball, per. <laughs> <laughs> like I said like that. <laughs> like yo, that was tough per, bro. Like, yo, per. That's crazy work. Mm. Nah, I get that three. I, yeah, that's a three. That's a three. That's a calm three. Because per is like really like caddy. Like yeah. We can't be caddy. Like we generals and shit. Exactly. And and is. And is. How, how do you even use that? And is would be like, hmm, how would you use and is? Now they just Like be- you, they'd be like, they be like, you really sassy. And is. Like that's your reply to it. It is it like is. yeah, I heard that. Yeah, <laughs> it is bro. like what I mean. All right, it is, bro. I think if you, I think if you I, say- I don't. All right, so look, I don't think it's appropriate, but I do like when girls use and is because they use it at appropriate times. So I don't. I don't think it's good for us to use and is. It do give like sassy vibes though, mm. but I, I don't think it does sound cool when they do say it like. I feel like if you say it with an accent, by A and E's, like like a country dude can see it. Like, oh, okay. By A okay, and E's, I'm jacking out. By A and E's, we can't we can't say it over here in New Jersey. Yeah, nah, we can't say it. Like if you if you in Texas, A and E's, like like how like I never even heard that before. And is no, nah, I don't. I you never heard that because your girlfriend don't use that lingo. Yeah, Jay don't be using like uh, girly lingo like that. Ooh. Like your girl be saying, oh. Nah, you can say that. <laughs> that crazy, like yeah. she be saying that? Yeah. Like and is. 
Like like as a crazy, huh? Like and <laughs> like you just thought about it. Nah, I don't I don't mind, but no, no, but like because like, you pulled like oh, and it's staring at the camera. Like like and is as like a like I don't like that's what I'm saying. Like when you said as a sent like saying in a sentence, mm-hmm. I still don't get it. Does that mean like like I am? Like you're agreeing with them. Agreeing, oh, I'm agreeing, you're agreeing with them. Like I said, if I if I say to you like yo, you giving like sassy vibes and you uh, and you your reply to me is and is is you sanctioning what I'm saying. Ah, I get what you mean. Okay, okay. Got you, got you. Dang, bro. That was funny. That was a good one, bro. That, that was a that was hey, but I got one more though. Uh, so using the word girly after an item or a, a place. Like after oh, a pronoun. Like so I'm a Stanley Cup girly. That's cool. So, no, you can't use that. <laughs> you can't use that. You're or, a man. Can you be like, I'm a Stanley Cup boy? I'm a Stanley Cup boy. No, that sounds mook. <laughs> I'm a Stanley Cup boy. I'm a I'm an iPad boy. <laughs> I'm a PS5 boy. I'm a man, bro. I'm a grown man, bro. I ain't no boy. What are they talking about? <laughs> I'm a PS5 boy. Oh no, if you say the accent, I'm a PS5 boy. I'm a <laughs> I'm a PS5. <laughs> I'm a PS5 just, boy. Like, it just don't go for us. Like, I'm a PS5 boy. No. The boy just, no, it's just not for us. I'm a, I'm a Stanley Cup boy. That shit doesn't sound right. Oh, I'm a McDonald's boy. Just referring to us as boy just don't be hitting. But they can <laughs> refer to, each, to themselves as a girl. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like. like we got to be like, yeah, I'm a PS5 type nigga. Mm. Or I fuck with the PS5. Yeah, yeah. That shit work for us. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's like, like I was talking to J- telling Jay because how Jay's how like girls talk to each other be like, hey boo, hey babe. Mm-hmm. Like, like we like I was like, girl, the way they talk, like girls talk, they talk to each other like they dating. Like, yeah, hey my love, hey all that. I think that literally what it is, is they are dating, but it's uh platonic. Pluton oh, that's plutonic is not the word. That's the that's the that's the plates. Platonic. That's platonic. Not, that's not what I said. No, it's platonic. But I think I said plutonic. I think that's like the the te- the plates on the under the earth. <laughs> I said the wrong thing. Maybe don't be going because I was trying to think like what do boys say that's equivalent to that? I think I think that's like gangy or gang or cause. my heart. Yeah, that's like the same thing. Like, it was good, gang. Yeah, it was good, my heart. That, like, that's I think that's what. That's the same thing. Cause I, and uh, people, I, like I think they, I forgot where it is, but it's one of those. Top states like middle top states, they be like, uh, my baby. Really? Like, what's good, my baby? Nah, that's crazy work. <laughs> I'll be dead. They call a bro my baby. Like, what's up, my baby? Nah, that's bad. That what like, was it? Chicago, on, baby. I think that's Detroit. I want to say Detroit. That's bad. That's bad lingo. I want to say Detroit. Hell, yo, come on, my baby. That's, no. They say that nah. Yeah, there's yeah. some down low dudes up there, bro. Yeah, what's that's, up, my baby? My heart is not that not much better either. That's not much better. That's why I don't say it. Like that's Ooh. two max. But like I don't know. Like they they I don't even know, bro. It's it's getting it's getting wild, bro. It's Ooh. getting wild. But I got a segment for you, bro. Cause I know you like corny jokes. All right, so bro, I got I'm not dad. Laugh, bro. I got dad jokes for you. But you, I just want you to react to it. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll tell you if they're funny or not. Okay. Mm-hmm. What has two wings and an arrow? Two wings and an arrow? Yeah. Uh, the green arrow. Say that. <laughs> A Chinese telephone. Wing, wing, arrow. <laughs> nah, bro. It hit, bro. That is. It almost hit. It almost hit. You could have got me. It almost hit, though. It, it almost hit because it didn't hit. You could have got me. <laughs> wing, wing, I don't know. Yeah, it almost, it almost hit. <laughs> it could have it could have hit, but I held on, man. <laughs> Remember, these are dad jokes, bro. Yeah, I'm already know. But I'm fighting them. I usually, you feel me? I be folding this shit. But I, I want to remove the narrative that I laugh at anything. Okay. Wow, he's trying real hard. Why did Waldo go to therapy? Uh... To find himself. I hate this guy. 
What? That was right. Really? Yes. <laughs> to find himself. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. It's hard being a genius. <laughs> this is backfiring really bad. Why didn't the toilet paper cross the road? Uh... Yeah, put the put the juice in your mouth. Pause. You freaky. <laughs> because it got stuck in the crack. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't funny, but a nigga waited for me to laugh. <laughs> I made it funny, like the joke went in. Right. But nigga waited, like, is he gonna laugh? <laughs> It was bad, bro. <laughs> he waited on the lamp, like, can I, can I get one? Okay, I got oh, no, one no. last one. <laughs> Why do you never see a gay person in a wheelchair? I don't know. Drink the water, drink the water, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I just don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> because you can't be a vegetable and a fruit at the same time. That was but that was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> that was dark as hell. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was bro. type crazy. No, that was bad. I think I threw in a dark humor joke in there just because. Damn. All right. But you want to do this one last thing before you end the pod, bro? Um, or you got something to talk about? I got, I got, I got, I got one, one more thing, one more thing before we. What you got, brother? Oh, my gosh. I thought he was good. That, that killed me, bro. Dang, I'm sad. We got Blind Ranking mm-hmm. NBA 2K13 soundtrack. Okay. Oh, move the mic over a little bit. I'm off. Let me redo it. Yeah, you clip him. It's going to go crazy. Watch. Blind Reagan, yeah. NBA 2K13 soundtrack. Got Created you. by Jay-Z. And me. Fuck, nigga. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to do, do five? we do five, yeah. All five right, bet. Cool. Let me think. Amazing. How's it go? How's that go again? Kanye West. Kanye West, amazing. Mm. It's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. what two K was that? Don't know amazing. That's thir- that's thirteen. That was thirteen. It was in a few, I think. Um, I'll give that a four. Okay. I'm a, okay. Yeah. Some. Mm. Oh. Mm, dang. Yeah. Public service announcement. Jay Z. Can you sing it for me? Allow me to reintroduce myself. myself. My, My name, name is, is O. Yeah. Nah, I gotta be. I'm gonna put that one. This two, yeah. I'm gonna put <laughs> that one. This two K thirteen. So it might, it might hit at the one. Is this only from the two K thirteen soundtrack? Yeah, it's from two K thirteen soundtrack. Is two K thirteen soundtrack the best soundtrack? Supposedly. Um, or is this what you just picked? This is what I just picked. Got gotcha. you. Because we all had thirteen. That was yeah, like, everybody had two K thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. So boom. I ain't no joke. I ain't no joke. I ain't using the mic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that shit, like. I'll give that a three. A three? I'll give that okay. a three. I keep that a three. I keep that uh, okay. three. Yeah. Eric B. I, I'll, that's up there. Mercy. How's that one go? Mercy. Like, Mercy, Kanye West, Two Chains, Lamborghini, Mercy. Mercy. Okay. This nigga don't know no songs. I don't bro. know no songs. I'm a, you know what? You know what's crazy? I'm going to put that at five. Really? Because when I hear it, I don't think of 2K. 2K. The other okay, three okay, ones okay, I okay, thought okay. of 2K. Okay. And blow the whistle. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, okay. That's so, good. So what was the order? It was blow, oh, blow the whistles too. What was, first one was um, read the list Public again. Service Public announcement. service announcement. Blow the whistle. Three was... um. What are the you other put, You put amazing? Yeah, No, no. Amazing is four. Uh, I ain't no joke. I ain't no joke is th- mm-hmm. three, amazing four, and then uh, mercy, mercy is five. five. Yeah, that's decent. That's cool. That's, that's decent. cool. Yeah, that's, decent. that's cool. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad. That's not bad. Mercy's only five for the two K. For the two K because like it didn't hit. It didn't hit for the two K. Literally, I heard every other song. I was like, dang, that's two K. And just, the reason I got actually like a memory when it kind of mercy and two K thirteen. I had a um concussion. 
but I still wanted to play 2K. So you just like use pimp. And that song was like killing my brain. Hey yo. And I'm like, yo, I had to turn it to I just wanted to hoop. <laughs> so you were still just I got a concussion from playing basketball. But you just wanted to play two K. I just wanted to play two K. That's bad. And the song, like the the background singer, yeah, was just killing me. I just had to turn it off. That's not good. You know that, right? It's you get like terrible. freaking epilepsy. I did that shit twice. Nah, crazy. I can't, bro. It, what like isn't like when you get a concussion, you can't be like in the light or something. Like the light bothers you. Man, when I tell you, I literally did it twice. Yeah, I did nah. it to play WWE two thousand ten. I was eleven. Crazy work. I got a. Uh, I I didn't. I know it's a concussion now that I'm older. Ah, uh, crazy. But I got a concussion from playing backyard football. So you was just playing in pain. In pain, like actually could not stand there and look at the TV. Yeah, no, nah, you, you lost me. I can't do that, bro. I would have freaking throw up, bro. Nah, I don't know. But I got one last thing we could do. It's called the knowledge quiz. All right. Mm-hmm. So we're going. From first grade all the way up to 12th grade. Mm -hmm. So we got questions that are going to get harder as you go up. Mm -hmm. All right. So first grade starting off easy. What is moving air called? Well, I guess it's not easy. (laughs) What do you mean by moving air? What is breathing, my nigga? (laughs) What is moving air? Moving air. What, What is it called with an elements moving air? Oxygen? <laughs> no. Moving air. Like, moving air really fast. What is that called? Like, I don't know. Wind. Moving air. Like, air that's moving. Not it's, me physically moving yes, air. Yes, air that is moving is wind. All right, bro. It's wind, bro. Like, I'm like, yo, what the fuck does thing mean? What is moving air? Like, I'm thinking like. Wind. Like, mo- uh, like the air is moving. is wind. Uh, All right. I, would, I would think what is blowing air. Nah, because you can blow air like this. That's not wind. No, like what is air that's blowing would be wind. Blowing, moving, isn't that the same thing? No. What is blowing? Hey, yo. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> yo, all right. Now you're in second grade now. You mm-hmm. barely passed first. I ain't passed first. What's 10 times 10? It's 100. All right. Correct. I'm bad at math, but don't put on my math in this shit. That's bro. tough. Third grade. I count out the cash. <laughs> Third grade. Which planet is closest to the sun? Uh, Mercury. Yeah, yeah, correct. Look at you, man. Fourth grade. Mm-hmm. How many states made up the United States before Alaska and Hawaii joined? Forty eight. Correct. Mm. There you go. I'm scared in a motherfucker. I know this man is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Fifth grade. If your mom buys 52 grapes and your dad brings home 34 grapes, how many grapes does your family have in total? If your mom buys 52. And your dad brings 34. Mm-hmm. How many grapes do you have in total? You say your mom buys 52. Then a 5 2. You got your dad buy 34. Got them. What well, you said? 52? 52 and 34. So that's 8. And then 34, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 87? 86. 86. Oh, shit. Well, you didn't pass. What grade is that? You didn't pass fifth grade. But now we're going on to sixth grade. What is the number for pi? 3.14. Uh, Correct. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now oh, we're going man. to seventh grade. How many days are in a, ye- a leap year? I said a leap year. How many days are in a leap year? <laughs> That's uh, uh, 366. Correct. Okay, yeah. okay. How many bones are in the human body? Skip. Do you want to give a guess? Nigga, I don't fucking know. You can uh, guess. I failed that class, bro. Um... How many bones are in the human body? 385, 6,000, bro. 206. Oh, shit. Ninth grade, who was on the $5 bill? Thomas Jefferson. 
Incorrect. It's like, nah, nah, oh. Abraham Lincoln. Okay, okay, just making sure. I was like, whoa. I'm like, okay. It's like, nah, it's like, nah. I'm about to say, you said you was good with the money, bro. Yeah, I'm good with the money, bro. That's it. All right. Tenth grade. Uh, freaking tenth grade. Who was the president of the Confederate States during the United States Civil War? Um... The nigga Lee, bro. His last name, bro. <laughs> what? No, he was the general. I'll give you one more chance. Oh shit! That's Robert E. Lee. Yeah, he Robert wasn't, E. Lee. He wasn't the leader. Oh, he wasn't the president. Damn, bro. All all I remember is niggas talking about Mr. Lee. <laughs> I don't know. It's actually Abraham Damn Lincoln. Lincoln. I knew that. I knew that. Oh my mother, I knew that. I but, swear to God, I don't but, know why I didn't say it. Hey, man, it's tough. I thought it was going to be wrong. It's I don't okay. know why I let you say it without just saying I didn't answer. Y'all knew that. It's okay, bro. No, nah, my mother, I knew that shit. We'll, we'll see what the I'm people crash say. Out. Now, you're barely getting through, but we're at 11th grade now. Mm-hmm. What is the largest continent in the world? The largest continent would be, it's either going to be Africa or Asia, but I think Africa. Final guess? Yeah, Africa. Incorrect. It is Asia. Asia? Oh, it's the Asians. I wanted to be Africa, bad as shit. I know you did. That's okay, brother. <laughs> now, to graduate high school, who was the 44th president of the United States? That got down. Obama was 45. Who was before Obama? Mm. That was Washington, cut. Yeah, that was my nigga Washington. You talking about George? Yeah. Nah, the other nigga, bro. What? There was only one Washington. Little bro. Little bro Washington. That's not Washington Jr.? Washington Carver? Bro, my nigga Washington, bro. So he's Washington. You know who I'm talking about, bro. Is that your final answer? Nah, it, was, it, was, it wasn't Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald Reagan was like the 80s or 90s, guys. Ronald. Nah, it, was, it was Washington. Which Washington? George Washington, my nigga. George Washington? Yeah. Incorrect. That was Bush, Bush, Bush. George, George Bush. W. Bush. George, incorrect. George it was Bush. Barack Obama. 44? Yep. 45. <laughs> Who's 45? I think it was Trump. Obama was 44? Yep. And not 45. Oh, shit. I'm cooking. Hey, man. that He your screensaver. Show the Damn. people. Show the world, nah, bro. You're bro. not really Obama for I real. thought he was 45. I'm cooking. Sorry, man. Who's before Obama? It was Bush, right? Yeah, Bush. Bush, Obama, and then I think... Trump? No, I, all jokes aside, I really thought it was Bush. Really? Yeah, in my, in my mind, it's really Bush. I forgot, I guess. It's okay, bro. At least you got you got this far. You, you barely mm-hmm. made it out. How many I got right? How many I got wrong? You got, I think you got five wrong. Damn. So you got seven right. I failed. Yeah, you failed out. Yeah. It's okay, brother. But you got anything else you want to say before we end the podcast? Um, Once again, I want to tell my brother congratulations on, uh, you know, Getting his master's degree. That Shout shit out to the easy, robots, bro. bro. Nigga crazy, bro. It ain't easy, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? No matter how you did it, when you did it, it ain't easy regardless. So, y'all give a round of applause to bro. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the supporters. You know, y'all niggas been doing y'all thing. Better than us liking it up, sharing with your friends, posting us. We love to see it, bro. We love to see it. We love the energy. We let it. All right, I'm letting y'all niggas message me again, bro. Y'all, y'all hit me up, bro. I want to talk to y'all niggas now, bro. <laughs> yeah, you miss y'all, Change, bro. bro. I miss y'all niggas, but y'all can talk to me again, bro. I'm going to reply now, bro. Yeah, he wasn't replying before, but don't worry. You're going to reply now, people. I was joking. I was replying. <laughs> but nah, I do. I do. I love the support, man. I love the vibes. The good vibes, man. And the regulars, man. We we going up this year for sure. Yes, sir, bro. Like, we doubling what we, what we did last year already. Exactly. It's only what it's May. Yep. We already telling you already big things people. Like big I said, coming, man. Shout yep. out to me, man. Patreon pods, man. I got my own show on the Patreon, bro. Come fuck with your boy, man. Walk Deasley. Yes, Coach sir. Sheasley. Everybody in this city want to be me. Damn, I'm about to go crazy. I ain't even going to. I thought he was about to tweet. I was going to slide. But, mm. hey, thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 142. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe, comment, like, post notifications. You know, it helps out on the algorithm if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to our Patreon. Like UJ said, he has his own show on Patreon. Y'all love UJ. Y'all want to see UJ talk about crazy things with him, Tyrone, Corey. 
Subscribe to the Patreon, $3 a month, $5 a month, $10 a month. Or if you want to subscribe for free, that's also great. We're going to po- we post, you get very minimal stuff, but you know, it's fun. You know, it's just good support. You get 10 minutes of the new things, but I just want to shout out everybody that we have on Patreon. So with the free subscribers, we got Leek, DJ Willis, Ray Ma- Raymond Padilla, Alyssa Smith, Laquella Ingram. You got your name crazy, but we love you. Tyrone Bowens, Corey Petty, King Fry, and Tamia. And then second round steals, we got DJ Khalid, Lennon Pole, and Muhammad, man. Shout out to y'all on Patreon. Subscribe down below. You know what I'm saying? If y'all support us, we got more content coming up. Me and Fritz about to do another video coming up on Patreon for the bonus content. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, you want to end it? You want to end it off, brother? Um, We different. They regulars, man. My regulars, my Yes, sir. I